Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Madam Chair, today's proceedings and frankly, this entire investigation are an insult to our constituents. We were sent here to find common ground and work together on serious policy issues. But with less than 10 days remaining in the fiscal year, we've not en enacted a single appropriations bill. We've not provided funding to fight opioid addiction. We've not addressed the water crisis in Flint. And this chamber still hasn't taken meaningful action to protect Americans from Zika. Instead of tackling these critical issues, we are mired in an endless string of divisive partisan fights that are based on ideology rather than facts, and it's shameful. I started my day in another partisan hearing where my Republican colleagues on the Judiciary Committee continue to threaten the IRS commissioner with impeachment with no facts or evidence to support it. So it seems fitting that I'm spending my afternoon watching Republicans on this panel threaten to hold a small biotech company in contempt, again, with no facts or evidence to support it. It's time to stop the charade. This so-called investigation has never been objective or fact-based, and these proceedings are no different. This panel has always been about harassing, intimidating, and threatening the people who enable this life-saving medical research to take place and it's simply because the majority opposes a woman's constitutional right to choose. What's worse, these efforts are working. One company that has historically provided tissue to researchers has gone out of business entirely. They wrote to the panel in December um, that the decision to close was, quote, due in large part to the cost borne from having to respond to these congressional inquiries, end quote. Some scientists have reported significant challenges finding tissue, which has delayed important research and forced laboratories to spend considerable time and resources identifying other alternative sources. And others are stopping fetal tissue research out of concern for their safety. And I've heard from researchers who say tissue donations have slowed considerably since the witch hunt against Planned Parenthood began last summer. As someone who started her career in biomedical research, I'm deeply disappointed to see the impact this panel is already having. If we ever hope to protect women and families from Zika, if we ever want to develop treatments for diseases like Alzheimer's or HIV, we need to stop harassing researchers and cutting off lines of scientific inquiry for no reason. Unfortunately, the majority's allegations and insinuations have never been rooted in facts. They've been based on extreme ideological opinions about women's rights. And as today's proceedings make clear, the majority has prejudged the outcome of this investigation without any evidence. It's time to stop wasting taxpayer dollars on this relentless crusade and get back to the work of the American people. Thank you, and I yield back.